Hi. I found this footage back in 2020, and it's a documentary on the queer community. It's a whole different world to seven years ago. <laughs> My name is Wild and Wine. My name is Angel Flores. Identify as a queer, queer boy. <laughs> He, him, for my pronoun. I'm bisexual and gender fluid, and I go by she/her. Queer all around, but if I would differentiate the two, I would say you know my gender is non-binary and my sexuality is queer. Uh, probably when I was like seven or eight. So the first time I realized I was queer when I was nine. And I was in class, and my best girlfriend had、um, grabbed my hand, and for some reason, it just made my heart squeeze. It was like a transition. It wasn't just like a next day kind of thing. Like, whoa, I'm gay. Like, you know, it wasn't like that. I personally haven't felt any judgments. It depends really on where you are. I had a girlfriend when I was there. I was constantly mocked and made fun of and ridiculed. It's almost like living a a double life. For me, it's just worth it to kind of just go through that emotional labor. So, like the next queer non-binary person, whatever comes after me, won't have as much of an issue and won't have to explain themselves as much. Art and the art community, and I find that the art community is pretty accepting of me being gender fluid and bisexual. I like to express my identity through art by being hypersexual. Um, I also do that because I know that the female body is, and like the nudity is kind of like a taboo thing, and like we shouldn't really show our body, we shouldn't show our nipples, we shouldn't be sexual because that makes people uncomfortable. Definitely,、uh, in a punk space, my queerness can flourish like a hundred percent. But I feel like in the skateboarding context, it's not as paralleled. Horror and like and and spooky, scary, scary shit has always been. Like intertwined in queerness、um, for a lot of reasons. I think really it's because like all of the villains in horror movies, they take what makes them different and what makes them ostracized and turn it into what makes them powerful. I love having sex. I actually consider myself a nymphomaniac. Without the queer community, we wouldn't have the kink culture that we have today. <laughs> Wow! 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 Wow!